I swear, once Astro gets ISL, incremental static regeneration, then I'll probably be using Astro over Next.js for all of my content-driven websites. Now, the reason I got back into Astro, I'd previously used it before, but the reason I got back into it was because of the View Transitions API. Now, I've got a quick demo here of the blog template that comes out of the box with the Astro setup when you create a new project. And let's see what happens when we click through to different pages. Nothing special happens really. It's just a normal page transition where we have the new page loading instantly. However, in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to transform this. And particularly when we click on through to a blog post, I'm gonna show you how to transform in hardly any time at all, transform your site so it uses nice smooth page transitions. And look what happens when we click on through to a blog post. Take note of the blog image, the blog title, and the publish date. So when we click on through to a blog post, there we go, we get this nice smooth transition between the original position of the blog post in the list item, the title, date, and the image. And there's a smooth transition whenever we click on to that page between those elements. So this is really, really simple to set up. And I'm pretty sure we'll get done within like five minutes on this. However, I'm gonna head on over to VS Code because I've already got a project set up here. So this is a bare bones project using the latest version of Astro and this is currently 3.2.3. And I used the blog template just so we can see some example of different transitions and that nice transition as well between our blog post in the blog list items with the image, the title and the dates all transitioning nicely whenever we click on through to that blog post. So first of all, what we want to do is render the view transition component on every single page. And to do that, we can either create a custom component that will be rendered on every page. And we don't need to do that in this particular project because we already have a custom component. If we go into components and base head, this base head will be rendered on every single page. This is how it comes out of the box with this particular project template. So all we need to do at the top of this base head is import view transitions from Astro colon transitions. And then we just need to render this component then right at the bottom here, the view transitions. So already let's see what happens if we head on over to the browser and we click on through to different pages, we can see already a nice smooth transition. However, what happens if we want to go a step further and implement something like the blog post transition where ideally the image title and date will slide nicely to its new position whenever we click on through to that blog post. So all we need to do is back in our code. First of all, for each of our pages, blog and the blog index page, i.e. where we loop through each of our blog posts to display them in this particular grid here. So this is the blog index page here. So when we're looping through or mapping over each of our posts, we need to use the transition name directive on each element that we want to apply that transition to. So we said it would be the post image, post title and post date. So all we need to do here is add a transition name and set this equal to a unique value for each of our blog posts. So we're going to create a dynamic value here and we're gonna say here something like post image and then we want to reference the post.id. So then because this is rendering from a list, whenever we click through to this particular blog post, it's this particular list item which will transition to that new page. So we want to do this for all of the elements we want to apply our transition to. So we set the title as well. Let's update this to post title and then the date, we set this equal to post date then we need to match each of these names, these unique names here, to each of our blog pages. So the if we go back quickly to the browser, if we click on through to a particular blog post, the header of a blog post here is being displayed within a common component called blog post or blog layout, I think it is. So in layout and blog post, it's this particular, if we scroll down here, it's this particular markup here. So it's this hero image here. We have our date as well, and we have our title. So it's these three elements here, the hero image, the date, sorry, the date here, and the title that we want to transition to. So this is a single blog post now, the blog post component, and it displays that head part of each blog post. So we need to make sure as well, we grab the ID. If we scroll to the top here, we need to grab the ID from astro.props. We need to make sure our props type also includes this ID here, and it's gonna be of type string. So I'm just gonna add an intersection type here, adding the ID set equal to string. 
Then whenever we render this blog post component in each of our blog pages, so it's this blog and the catch-all for each blog page, for the blog post component, we need to pass the ID down and set it equal to post.id. So now we have access to the post ID for each blog page within the blog post component. We need to match those transition names. So what did we say? We said in this image tag here, we need the transition name set equal to post image and we need to interpolate ID here. We want to do exactly the same for the date. So we need to update this to say post date followed by the post ID. Then if we scroll down to the title, this H1 here, we want to update this to say post title and it needs to be title like this. So if we save this now and take a look in the browser, let's head on back to the blog page and click on through to a particular post. And there we go. We see this really, really nice transition for each blog post. When we click on through, we can see that image, the date and the title all transitioning nicely.